Hi friends, welcome back to Cozy Time Tales. Today we're going to be reading Hanukkah Bear by Eric A. Kimmel. Hanukkah Bear Old Bear awoke from his winter sleep. He poked his nose outside his den. What was that? Mmm, something to eat! Old Bear's empty stomach rumbled. He shook himself all over, then lumbered out of his den to follow the delicious smell. Bubba Brina took the last potato latka from the pan and put it in the oven with the others. Bubba Brina was 97 years old and did not hear or see as well as she used to, but she still made the best latkes in the village. Every year at Hanukkah time, all her friends came to her house on the edge of the forest. How they loved those latkes! Bubba Brina always made plenty, but tonight she made twice as many as usual. Tonight was special. Tonight, the rabbi was coming. Bubba Brina hurried to get ready. Just then, she heard a thump on the door. She opened it. Rabbi, you're here early. How nice to see you. Grumph, growled the old bear. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Please come in. Old Bear walked into the house. I'll take your coat, Rabbi. My, how thick it is! Bubba Brina tugged at the Old Bear's fur. Old Bear roared, growl! Oh, you want to keep your coat on? Well, that's all right. It is chilly in here. Old Bear's nose twitched. Ruff. Thank you, Rabbi. How kind of you to say that. The latkes will taste even better than they smell. Old Bear followed his nose to the oven. Roar! Rabbi, I'm surprised at you. You know we don't eat until we light the menorah. Grrr. That's all right. I know you were teasing. I'll light the candles. Will you say the blessing? Grrr. Bubba Brina struck a match and lit the shaman's candles. Then she lit one for the first night. Old Bear muttered and growled. Grrr. Grrr. Who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season? Oh, Rabbi, you say the blessing so beautifully. Bubba Brina sat down at the table. Old Bear sat beside her. Let's play dreidel. We'll use these nuts. Old Bear cracked one with his teeth. Rabbi, you won't have any nuts for the game if you eat them. Rrrm, growled Old Bear. Don't worry, I have plenty of nuts if you need more. Bubba Brina spun the dreidel. It stopped on the letter Gimel. I win! Bubba Brina swept the nuts into her apron. Roar! Old Bear roared. Don't be angry, Rabbi. It's only a game. She tossed him a nut. Old Bear begged for more. No, Rabbi, no more nuts. It is time for dinner. Bubba Brina opened the oven door and took out a platter piled high with steaming potato latkes. Old Bear sniffed the latkes as she set them on the table. Do you prefer sour cream or jam? Bubba Brina asked. Grrr, Old Bear growled. Jam, I thought so. Bubba Brina smeared five big latkes with jam and stacked them on Old Bear's plate. Old Bear gobbled them down. Bubba Brina laughed. You should use a fork. You have jam all over your beard. She wet a towel and wiped Old Bear's face. I must tell you, Rabbi, you eat like a bear. <laughs> I'm hungry like a bear, so I eat like one. I can see that, Bubba Brina said. Old Bear ate and ate until the latkes were gone. He felt drowsy. His head flopped on Bubba Brina's lap. Rabbi, you're sleepy. Who wouldn't be sleepy after such a meal? All the latkes are gone. It's time to go home. But before you leave, I have a Hanukkah present for you. Bubba Brina took a red scarf from her knitting basket. She wrapped it around Old Bear's neck. I made it myself. Grrr, old Bear licked Bubba Brina's face. Bubba Brina blushed. Oh, Rabbi, at my age. Old Bear shuffled to the door. Grrr, he growled as he walked off into the night. Good night to you too, Rabbi. Happy Hanukkah. Bubba Brina was washing dishes when she heard another knock. I wonder who that is. Shalom, Bubba Brina. All of her friends stood at the door wishing her a happy Hanukkah. Shalom, everybody. 
but Wabrina said, How nice to see you. I'm sorry I don't have any more latkes. The rabbi came by. He ate them all. But Wabrina, don't you recognize me? It was the rabbi. The rabbi couldn't have eaten your latkes, everyone said. He's been with us in the synagogue. But Wabrina rubbed her forehead. Something strange is happening, Rabbi. I think there's an imposter going around. He looks like you. He talks like you. He even has your beard. Just then, the children cried, Look at the floor! Bear tracks! A bear? And I thought it was the Rabbi. Bubba Bryna had to sit down. Soon, she began to giggle. That was a very clever bear, or a very foolish Bubba Bryna. Oh well, let the bear have a happy Hanukkah. I had a happy Hanukkah too, and so will you, dear friends. Bring some potatoes from the cellar, fetch my grater and bowl. Everyone has to help. You too, Rabbi. If we all work together, we'll soon have luckets for everyone. Deep in the forest, Old Bear slumbered in his den. His stomach was full of potato latkes. The warm woolen scarf was wrapped snugly around his neck. Pleasant dreams, Old Bear, and happy Hanukkah. The End Thanks for watching Cozy Time Tales. Subscribe!